January 1991. Iraqi dictator Saddam Hussein refuses to remove his invading army from neighboring Kuwait. The U.S. and its allies decide it's time to act. The coalition prepares a full-scale air war, dubbed Operation Desert Storm. The plan, to bomb Iraqi hotspots and bring Hussein to his knees. The only problem, how to get their aircraft in to do it. The Iraqis had the most integrated air defense system in the world. The U.S. needs a plane that can sneak in and take out the command post before the Iraqis know what hit them. The aircraft they choose, the F-117. 65 feet long, 43 feet wide, the F-117 Nighthawk looks like a fighter from another galaxy. Its shape makes it nearly invisible. To enemy radar, it's the size of a baseball. The reason for that is because the angles on the airplane do not present the radar signature back to the radar. One drawback, payload. To keep its shape stealthy, weapons are limited to what can be stored inside. You can't hang bombs off the outside of the 117 and have it still be a stealthy fighter. January 1991, deep in Iraqi airspace, F-117 pilot Major General Greg Feast is ready to drop the very first bomb of the war. I was very relieved because nobody knew I was there. I was able to concentrate on tracking my target and delivering my bomb. His bomb of choice, two bunker-busting GBU-27 laser-guided bombs. That was a 2,000-pound bomb that we used to penetrate targets that other bombs couldn't hit. We were the only aircraft that could carry that weapon. The only catch? To be accurate, Feast must deploy the bombs below 10,000 feet, well within the line of fire. Our worry below 10,000 feet was not only SAMs, surface-to-air missiles, but also anti-aircraft artillery, AAA. There was a lot of it in Iraq, and we were worried at any second we could be hit by some type of AAA. Feast lines up the target, checks his bombs, and fires. Direct hit. 90 minutes later, Feast makes it back to base. It's a major success for the stealthy fighter. Over the next eight weeks, it remains undefeated. And we flew 1,271 missions in the F-117 during Operation Desert Storm, and not one piece of damage, not one bullet, not one SAM, nothing ever hit any of our aircraft. There weren't many skeptics left after Operation Desert Storm. Everyone knew that the F-117 was a true stealth fighter capable of precision bombing against almost any target in the world. 